Hi, this is Graham Bell with Real Intent. I'm speaking with uh, Srinivas Vaidyanathan, also from Real Intent. Uh, you're a staff technical engineer. We're going to be talking about the new Ascent Lint uh, release that's coming out in June. But first, what uh, distinguishes Ascent Lint in the marketplace? Hi, Graham. Ascent Lint is industry's fastest, highest capacity linting tool. To give you an example, it can do 500 million gates in about an hour or so. This allows for Ascent Lint, uh, or linting, as an effort to be scaled from unit level all the way to full chip. The advantage of doing something like that is that now the linting effort is spread across the project um, and it can catch errors uh, much earlier than deploying lint just at one time towards the end of the project. So what are some of the new features in the new release? Broadly speaking, uh, some of the highlights would be that we've extended the scope of the language to extend onto system write log 09. It covers the synthesizable constructs of system write log 09. The binaries are now compatible with SUSE's Enterprise Linux version 11 and above. We already support um, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And thirdly, and quite importantly, there's been significant features to help with debuggability and maintenance, which are really critical in tackling the changing landscape of RTL design and integration. Could you tell our audience a little more about that? Given that Ascent Lint uh, has really good performance and capacity, and the ability to be able to run it from unit level all the way to full chip, uh, it would save a lot of time and effort in being able to carry this configuration uh, through the design hierarchy. With the upcoming release, um, Ascent Lint accepts multiple configuration files. What this allows for is to maintain a hierarchy of configuration and apply it through the design hierarchy. So this hierarchical configuration management uh, is a new addition to the tool with the upcoming release. Further, with the added ability to annotate every rule, the policy file and the report file are now a single source of trackable history um, and serves a great repository to maintain the changes that have occurred through the project or with design and review. So there are new rules in this release? Yes, we have 24 new rules in the upcoming release. One interesting rule uh, that I think is interesting is to do with macros. Macros are a really powerful tool that the language supports, but it's really easy to have nested macros that go out of control and make it really hard to debug or maintain the source. With this new rule, the team have control. The teams have control um, over the size of the macro and how far it grows to keep it within limits that's acceptable to their conventions. Anything else you'd like to say about the new release? If you'd like to know more about the tool, please look it up on our website. And also, we have a booth at DAC, so please do visit us. Uh, we have some exciting demos and cool giveaways. Thanks for speaking with us, Srinivas. Thanks, Fran.